Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Joren or Triplus as I like to make myself known online. And today I um, well, again this is something that I've had since my birthday, uh, which is uh, about 25 days ago now. Um, but I actually got a LED strip, an RGBWW if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, it's, it's written over here, RGBWW, which is that you basically have a warm and a cool white. Um, no specific reason for getting this one but um what i'm most interested in is this uh gledopto um rgb led controller and so you just connect this to the, the led strip and this is also zigbee enabled or should be at least if i uh, read that correctly um and this will also be uh able to connect to my combi 2 stick uh, which is hopefully very good and amazing uh, so i got the controller uh, connector cable the actual led strip the power supply of course that is uh, is needed um, and i also got this um, um a rail or whatever to put it in with uh, a diffuser on top and some uh, some connection things for that either uh, strips or uh, yeah, brackets but I'm not sure yet how I will be connecting that, but it should be fine. Um, so I think the first thing that I actually want to do is just unbox everything real quick. Let's start with the most boring thing, the power supply. I live in Europe, so for me, uh, this is my power supply and then let's hope this connects. I actually bought this as a kit, so technically speaking, it should connect. Um, so that, that should be fine. And that's the reason why I got this um, RGBWW kit because um yeah well it's uh it's what i needed back then uh so this is the controller it's rather big but um yeah, so here you have the well, let me take it from the package so you have the input here you can also do it with two little cables then you have your yeah, the the power rgb and then the, i think this is cool white and warm white uh so there's that um now let's see yeah, we have uh, this little cable over here, which um, I assume I will be able to plug this if it wants to focus. This in the LED strip, and then I think these cables I will need to put uh, in here, uh, like so. Um, then let's take a quick look at the actual LED strip. Uh, I'm not going to fully pull it out yet, but let's see. A little paper should be fine Ooh, that, it's a bit smelly uh, but yeah so yeah indeed so as you can see this LED strip and you can see here as well that we have the few little uh, pins to to connect the LED strip actually um, I'm actually going to try to remove this little bit from the roll so that I can use this and connect to it. If you go a bit further, uh, if it wants to focus, there you see DC 24 volt, one white, um, green, red, blue and cool white. So that's what I have. So my voltage, warm white, green, red, blue and um, cool white, uh, which was the order. So that's how I connected that. Um, the next step is indeed to connect this to the controller. Um, so I'm going to have to separate. Ah, there. Okay, they're already a bit separated. That's good. I'm not sure if the order is correct and I would need a small screwdriver. Okay, so you probably won't be able to see, but it's like a push mechanism. So if you look very closely, you see something moving in the hole completely on the right. So for voltage it's the black one so let's let's try this i guess okay now they're stuck quite well so then we have red they're not in the correct order that's a bit annoying but we can manage then we have green then we have blue and then we have um now i need to double check so cool white is the white one okay and then we have 
warm white as the last one. So they are all connected. Now it's time for the power supply. Well, it's white. It's doing something at least. Um, yeah, I guess the next step is to connect it to, um, to Home Assistant. So I'm quickly going to unplug it, boot up my computer and let's see from there. Okay, so we are at my desk. Um, I'm going to plug in the cable. I also found a little instruction manual in the in the controllers box, but let's see if it wants to connect. So we have light. Let's see here if we add a new light, if it wants to find it. If not, we need to reset it uh, a few times. light is actually already found in in uh, in decons um, let's put it in the office rename so let's go back to the office let's check this out so okay so it's getting very dim we have uh, uh, a different Colors. Red doesn't seem to be working. Oh wait, I need to put the saturation up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that is working quite well. We have color temperature. Okay, so this is the, the warm white, this is the cool white. Okay, we have the different colors. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, let's start putting it in its bracket. So let's uh, remove the plastic from the bracket. Yeah, the bracket is not fully visible on screen. I'm a bit too zoomed in, but uh, we can manage. I realized I never made a proper ending for this video, uh, so I just briefly wanted to show you the end result of the LED strip actually behind my computer. It's currently not, um, well, I'm, I'm not using the adhesive tape in, in any way, shape or form, it's just laying there, it's being tucked in by the, the cables from my screen and, and so on, so it's, it's actually quite secure there, but uh, I can also easily remove it with a, a bit of a gentle persuasion. Um, but anyway, as you can see, it's uh, slowly changing colors. I've made some automations in Home Assistant um, to, to briefly change the color also based on like the time of day and so on. So it's, it's actually quite, uh, well, I, I enjoy the, the slowly changing scenery in the background. I can make it even slower and I may do that. But uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the, the unboxing of this little LED strip. It, it's mostly the Zigbee controller, uh, but Anyway, it's uh, a lot of fun, it was quite easy and I'm happy with the results. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, see you in the next one, bye!